This right here is one of the trickiest problems that I've come across on the ACT math exam, so sit tight. So here's our first problem. We got 45 students in a class, 32 are wearing blue, 32 are wearing red. So how many are for sure wearing blue and red? So what this is asking is, well, there's different combinations of students that are wearing blue and red. It could be that those same 32 students that are wearing blue are also wearing red. But I think what this is asking is, what's the minimum guaranteed number given that there are only 45 students in the class? There's a couple ways to solve this. I'm going to help you first with a visual method kind of using Venn diagrams in a way. And then the other method will be kind of more numerical. So the, let, let's visualize this. Imagine that this green line represents 45 students. Now imagine that this red line is going to cover some of the students. This is 32 students represented by the red line. And those 32 students are wearing red, okay? That means that this leftover region right here is 13. So these 13 students are not wearing red. Now let's imagine that of those 13 students, all of them are wearing blue and then 32 of, of the total class is wearing blue as well. Uh, and then this remainder right here is 13. So what do I end up having? I have this region of overlap, the red ends right here. This region of overlap is wearing both blue and red. Now all we need to do is find how wide this region of overlap is. How do we figure that out? Well, I have 45 as the total distance, right? And then I have 13 as this leftover distance of only red students. And then this distance right here of 13 is also the only blue students. So I can just subtract 45 minus 13 minus 13, and I get 19 as the number of students that are wearing just or, or both colors. Now, the other way to solve it, something interesting you can take note of, is that 32 plus 32 equals 64, and 64 is just 45 plus 19. So, and, and the interesting thing is it's plus 19 because those 19 students in this region were counted in both this category and this one. That's why we they, they were essentially counted twice. So that's why we have to add that on to the total number of students. Something interesting that you can note about this type of thing. And again, this is a pr problem type that has popped up a number of times on ACT Math, and it's something that students find very, very difficult.